Hey guys, welcome to another New World video. In today's video I will be continuing the requested miniseries on bosses that any player can solo in the open world. Now, I want to be clear here, I don't recommend doing this if the possibility for grouping exists. These fights solo are cheesy, long, and can get stale very fast. They will always be much more enjoyable in a group. The reason this was requested and the reason I am making them is because the Fresh Start servers are suffering from a super low player population right now, and some of those players have reached out to me, asking me how they can farm certain things alone. And a second reason I am making them is because, well, these are pretty cheesy, and have been this way since launch. And like many of you, I do love New World as well, and nothing would make me happier than seeing them fixed. And the reality is really quite simple. If a small group of older players are doing this and the vast majority don't know about it, it will never be fixed and I would love for these to be fixed. Anyhow, with that said, let's just get into it. The first on our list is Overseer Levy. This guy is a great farm for newer players. He drops the engineering pants as well as the woodworking shirt. Both are items any player should have, and all new players will want to have, so farming them will save you so much needed coin. For this guy, you will be happy to know, I in fact am not choosing him, just a straight up solo. And I am not wearing anything special, just the Christmas crafted gear that any player will have access to at 60. To farm this guy, you will want to head here to Upper Sviken, in the Great Cleave, specifically to Caminus. So the first thing you will want to do is clear the adds. They can be problematic if you aggro too many while fighting Levy himself. So just kill all those off before you begin. Then, after you have all them killed, Pull him under these stairs here and you will be good to go. The stuff that you can get from him are a blunderbuss, the Loudner. This is a split con strength, enchanted, chain lightning, and gains hated at 600 gear score. A musket, the noble woman's ogre hunter. This is a great musket for a newer player, with dex, enchanted, empowering shooter stance, and mortal power when upgraded. A round shield, tempered disruption. This round shield comes with con, slash ward, arcane shield, and refreshing move. And another great musket, Overseer's Regret. This musket again comes with dex, life stealing, vicious, and gains Vorpal at 600 gear score. And of course the engineering pants and the woodworking shirt, the main reasons why we're here. He also drops a decent kite shield, Compulsion. This shield comes with strength, life stealing, fortifying shield rush, and refreshing. A rapier called the Dark Days. This rapier comes with dex, ancient bane, deadly flourish, and at 600 gear score gains life stealing. He also drops a strange life staff, miscalculations. This life staff comes with focus, ancient bane, refreshing evasion, and gains mending protection at 600 gear score. Based on some of those perks, I can see why it's called miscalculations. And yet another kite shield. This one's called Everlasting Shade. This kite shield comes with strength, accelerated resolve, rogue, and sure footing. And finally, my personal reason for farming him in this area, Cowl of Augur. This light helm comes with con, intellect split, refreshing, ancient ward, and freedom. A really great helm overall. But what I love about it the most, I wanted it for future transmog, of course. So this guy will definitely be worth farming, and I recommend doing it. On a fresh start server, you could stand to make a ton of coin, simply farming him for the woodworker shirt and the engineering pants alone, and selling them on the market. Not to mention some nice starter gear. And next up, we are into the cheese. And our next solo boss will be way up here in Evanscale. And this one, you will all recognize. And it is Daisy the Dancing Bear. To solo Daisy, all you have to do is run up to the top of these stairs. Range attack her, then wait a moment for her to come after you. At this point, you will run down the stairs to here, and just jump over the fence. She will, of course, follow, but the other mobs will not. Now, run her around here and go into the house and get into this corner. She will then attack you through the wall, and easy, you just kill her. Now, I want to point out that sometimes she will run after you inside. This is simple and doesn't change anything really, so don't panic. You just run outside and get her into the corner and do the same thing, but in reverse. This one is the ultimate cheese. But like I said, it's always been like this, so it must be working as intended, right? So the stuff you can expect to get from Daisy while farming her are a fire staff called Fire Pod. This fire staff comes with intellect as the main attribute, empowering fireball, beast bane, and at 600 gear score enchanted, and a warhammer, the entertainer's mall. This Warhammer comes with Strength, Sundering Shockwave, Keenly Fortified, 
and gains hated when upgraded to 600 gear score. This is an amazing Warhammer for a newer tank looking for some great gear to get started. And the woodworker shoes. Again, a piece of crafting gear anyone and everyone will want to have. So if you are looking for them or want to farm them, come here and get them. Well guys, that's all for today. I hope you guys can use these farms to get the stuff you've been needing and keep yourself busy during the quieter days of New World between content drops. I'm also sorry about my voice today, guys. I've had a really sore throat. I think I probably am coming down with something. I really hope not, though. But anyway, if you guys have any other requests on things you would like to see, please feel free to leave them in the comments. And as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.